back in mid-March, the Rampage were in the midst of a crucial four-game road trip. But less than 24 hours after playing a game in Milwaukee, the team notified that the AHL season had been suspended indefinitely. Now there's real concerns about whether the team will play in San Antonio again and what happens to players currently on the roster. KSA 12 Sports' Andrew Seeley caught up with forward Jordan Nolan this week to get an update on the team's status. season ground to an unexpected halt. Rampage players immediately went back home to spend time with their loved ones. That includes team captain Jordan Nolan who returned home to St. Catharines, Ontario. We have the rodeo road trip obviously. We're gone for three weeks and, and don't see our family much so I think just spending time with uh, with my kid and, and watching her grow and it's just been a lot uh, different these past few weeks but I think just kind of connecting with family and FaceTime and my brother and his kids. I think it's just a good time to connect with uh, you know, with your partners, and I think that's been the best part of it so far. In many ways, this pandemic has wreaked havoc on professional athletes' lives. That includes Rampage players who might not have contracts with the Blues for next season as the parent club moves operations to Springfield, Massachusetts. Lots of guys, they, they bought furniture, they uh, their girlfriends and wives lived in San Antonio, and guys have met girls in San Antonio and have new relationships there. So I think for those guys, you know, it's tough, and I don't know where they're going to live next year, and that's something that now you got to discuss with your family. And um, I think there's a lot of uh, things that go into uh, making decisions of where you want to play. As the team awaits official word on whether they will return to the Alamo City this year, the most important thing they can do is stay in shape and stay prepared. You kind of treat it as if the season just ended and you, know, you take your uh, couple weeks off, your month off, whatever it is, and you kind of slowly ease back into it. You know, you don't want to go too, uh, too big too early. Uh, for myself, I just kind of like to go for uh, bike rides outside. A um, couple of things in the house. I got some weights here, so I'll, uh, I'll be talking to our trainer and, and figure out a couple exercises. But but guys are in pretty good shape, so I think it doesn't take much for guys to get back into it. Just, uh, just staying healthy, eating right, moving. And I think uh, when, we, when we get back to San Antonio, um, we'll obviously have some time there to skate and, and get ready for, uh, for real play. Reporting for Instant Replay, I'm Andrew Seeley. <laughs> okay, now if that's not entertainment, what is that's Manu Ginobili. His wife posted this video on social media using the app TikTok. That's Manu dancing to the crisscross song Jump while using a hula hoop. Looks pretty good. Looks like he's still in pretty good shape. This is day 19. She said, putting my marriage at risk. I give you this pearl. <laughs> Let's hope for more people like Manu who posted some stuff. This is fun stuff right there. I will tell you this, I wish we'd had the, the volume up because he's actually hula hooping yeah. completely in sync with this song. With the it's, song. Yeah. it's pretty amazing. We had it up for a second off the top, but it was hard to tell. All right. Today is National Beer Day. Ooh, and Mike and Fiona are ready to celebrate on SA Live. They have some great local spots where you can still get beer. You got to get it to go. Hi, guys. <laughs> yes. How are you? We have been counting down to this day. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. It is National Beer Day. And there, there we, we go. go. Listen for that refreshing sound. Cheers, yes. There are places around town where you can find to-go craft beers, and if you've been looking to fi find, try a few different spots and find them as well, we've rounded up a few options for you. And you know, folks I've seen on social media are getting really creative with their cocktail hours and their date nights. Mm -hmm. So we wanna know, where have you found is kind of that perfect spot at home to enjoy a cold one? Your favorite spot at home to enjoy a cold one or even a cocktail? Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. Kind of along the lines how people, uh, you know, put on Facebook saying, I'm going to travel to the living room tonight. Yes. So. Or the, you know, Chateau de, you know, and it's their, it's their <laughs> living room, which is now masquerading as a, you know, nightclub or a, a dinner place. <laughs> when in Rome, as they say. Also, we are helping you celebrate the Easter holiday with your kids with a fun craft from Haley Giambalvo from design improvise and it's a way to keep your kids sports skills sharp we show you a virtual basketball practice and how it's helping young athletes that and a whole lot more coming up on SA live on this national beer day cheers Texas actor Matthew McConaughey cheering up some senior citizens across the state even his family is helping him out the Oscar winners latest plan to help Texans get through the pandemic is through 
virtual bingo. He played it with residents at a senior living facility in Round Rock. It's so cool. On top of that, he's also made videos as a way to help spread information and inspiration. McConaughey urging people to take precautions and to take care of those who need it. Oh, he was having a blast doing this. He was, you could tell he was just <laughs> having all kinds of fun. Man, I want in on that bingo game. All right, uh, temperatures today up around 86 degrees. Uh, we're going to see some sun this afternoon, close to 90 tomorrow. 20% chance of some showers and storms. Uh, a couple of those could be severe tomorrow, but I'm more worried about the severe risk on Thursday. We'll be keeping an eye out for that as the frontal battery moves in. A little bit cooler Friday rain chances still into Saturday, but it does cool out for Easter Sunday. Mostly sunny and close to 80 on Sunday. All right, looking good for Easter. Thank you so much, Justin. Mike and Fiona have made their way into the uh, studio. So how Is much it, of the beer is left as well? Yeah. We'll find out, right? Now. Oh, it's National Beer Day. How are you celebrating? We're talking about a great spot to go get your beer to go. Hey, just because sports are canceled right now does not mean you have to stop practicing. Find out how you can find a basketball practice online for your kids. Plus, they're considered the first ladies of gospel, and they have a movie coming out about them. We're going to be talking to a few of the cast members to find out what to expect from their new film. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. Today we are celebrating Chills Cheers. National mm. Beer Day. Mm. And something... I noticed on social media. Is it good? Yes. Is well, it it's good? very tasty. It's still, yes. it's still, okay. it's still you, halfway full. You can't cheers without <laughs> sipping, by the way. You know That's that. Yeah, so. In a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed how folks are getting creative around their homes from, you know, just kind of with their cocktail hours and their date nights. You yeah. Know. You know, so we want to know where's your favorite spot at home to enjoy a cold one or a cocktail? How about you? Oh, my back patio. Yes, the yes. patio. Mm -hmm. on, a, on a really pleasant evening uh, before the humidity really sets in, just yes. to kind of you know, enjoy, get outside, especially now that we're all kind of inside so much. Yes, you know, or any, you know, bedroom I can go to where I can just lock everybody out. <laughs> Either one, you know, my standards are just dropping there at home, okay? So for anyone trying to celebrate this holiday in your own home, we've got an idea for you. David Elder took us to Weathered Souls Brewing Company. They're now offering a drive through option. Let's take a look. Weathered Souls is a San Antonio brewery known for making award-winning beer. With me now is the man, the myth, the legend out here, the mad scientist, Marcus Baskerville. And you're creating some incredible brews out here at Weathered Souls. And you have two options right here in front of us. And you can, you have a lot. But these two are the ones that you pulled out for us to look at. So talk to me about this one right here in front of yeah, me. Yeah, so what we have here is our Imperial Stout Cavernous. So we haven't actually brought this beer out in a while. Um, it's around a 12% uh, Imperial Stout, heavy body, chocolate, um, some different caramel characteristics in it. But this is basically what we use for a base for a lot of our uh, specialty beers um, with some of the heavy treated stouts. This, when you said caramel, that was the first word that came to my mind. It's so, it's nice and thick, it's a full bodied beer, and it tastes like a meal in itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very heavy. It's sure. very yeah. heavy, this is really good. Mm. And a lot of that, a little bit of chocolate notes mm -hmm. you kind of get from there as well. That's delicious. That is a lot of really interesting things happening there. and. You're known for making wild stuff, right? Yeah, so pretty much what we're known for our stouts. Um, so something that we've been doing recently is hosting uh, events monthly. So we've been doing different uh, stouts features every month. So last month was a pastry event. Uh, this month was a coffee event. Next month we're going to have our chocolate stout factory. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a Willy Wonka that'll be here as well? No, you Willy Wonka. <laughs> Maybe we'll dress the bar stuff up. <laughs> and talk it's to me about this, this beer right and here. And so what this is is our first iteration of a German Doppelbach. Uh, so Doppelbach basically is a double version of a Bach, um, but it's a heavier version with uh, lots of caramel, melanoid and malts, uh, heavy malts period within it, 10% uh, lager. So something different, something to diversify our uh, tap wall. And now, because of the current restrictions, they offer curbside beer pickup. I'm Michelle, I'm the taproom manager here at Weathered Souls Brewing Company. I'm going to show you the sanitation process that we do here at Weathered Souls for all of our crawlers for our new to-go service. Step one, I wash my hands. Step two, we sanitize the crawlers. We use Star Sand, which is a restaurant and food safe sanitizer and disinfectant. Step three, we sanitize the tube that is attached to the faucet for pouring the beer into the crawler. 
Step four, we put gloves on before filling your crowler with beer. Step five, my favorite part, we fill them with beer. Step six, we remove the lids from the sanitizing solution and place them on the crowlers. Step seven, we seal the cans and sanitize them one more time before taking them outside for delivery. After sealed and sanitized, we put them in a clean bag and take them outside to our to-go tent. A representative of the brewery will meet all guests outside with a sanitized POS system. The guests will be then passed the POS system where they can swipe their own card to pay and then after passing back to the staff member, they will receive their beer through their window. We put these processes in place to assure all of our customers that we're doing everything we can during this time and we hope that you support local and all your fellow bartenders. And your favorite bartender. Well, if you need more information on Weather Souls Brewing Company, make sure to head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's a you know fantastic idea, and you can take it home and then enjoy it. And again, you know, social uh, our uh, what do we call it? The, so the social, social question. question. Thank you very much. About. I was thinking about that great beer. <laughs> I did not sip that yet. I promise you. Uh, where would you have that at home? Would it be inside, locked in a room like Fiona would do away from everybody, <laughs> or out on the back patio? So don't forget to. Uh, let us know. Now, there are some other places around town where you can go to find to-go craft beers. If you've been looking for a few different options to try out, we've put together some places you might want to visit. Support local. That's the SA Live mantra we live by. So on National Beer Day, we couldn't find a better way to share the suds. Here are just three spots in and around the Alamo City to get some beer to go. Alamo Beer Company. In the shadows of the Hay Street Bridge, this SA staple brews on site. The ordering process is simple. Go to alamobeer.com, place your order, and you get a case of your choice for only 20 bucks. There are plenty of options too. Try a six pack of Belgian style Luna Blanca or the German inspired 18 pound pills. Looking for a lighter beer? Then the La Vieta is the one for you. You can also order food to go. The Texan is a brisket plate that serves two, but you don't have to share it if you don't want to. The plate comes with smoked brisket, bratwurst, borracho beans, queso blanco, mac and cheese, an amber lager barbecue sauce, and pretzel rolls. Mmm, sounds delicious. Looking to feed the whole family? You can nab the Texan family deal for less than 32 bucks. Beer and barbecue? Need we say more? And don't forget about the Texacola while you're at it. Alamo Beer is normally open for pickups Friday to Sunday, 2 to 6 p.m. Make sure to follow them on all the socials for the updates. Now we're going to Bernie. Tusculum Brewing Company opened its doors in 2019 and already making a splash with their array of brews. Just give them a ring to place your order and drive to the back bar for your pickup. We recommend the Big Tex Blonde or the Mexican style lager Puerto Burn. But there's plenty to choose from, like the Hazed and Confused, Top Seller, Lucky 13 Stout. Or maybe it takes two to mango, an IPA fruited with mango and tangerine, Get these 22 ounce bottles and enjoy at home. Oh, and a little history lesson. Tusculum was the original name of the town until it was renamed to Bernie in 1852. German style Kolsch is available at Dorchel Distilling and Brewing Company. Try the High Will Betty. Follow Dorchel on Facebook and Instagram for updates. They're currently available in eight different HEBs around town. Text them your order and they'll do the rest. For non-beer drinkers, they're also selling their award-winning apricot brandy, The Kinsman. We went out to Dorchel earlier this year, and they whipped up some of the tastiest cocktails around. Look for that story on salive.com. Make sure to follow all of these spots on social media for exact pickup times and updates. Stay vigilant, San Antonio, and don't forget to support local. Uh, still ahead on SA Live, does your child miss going to their sports practice? Well, there is an option. We're going to tell you how to find a virtual basketball practice to keep their skills sharp. And next, they're an iconic duo, and they came to be known as the First Ladies of Gospel Music. Now they have a movie about their lives. Hear about that from the cast, about what to expect from this new movie.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this is Holy Week, and what's better for the soul than some gospel music? The Clark Sisters are one of the most successful gospel groups in history, having sold millions of albums and bringing gospel to the mainstream. The five sisters had to overcome humble beginnings in Detroit. You can catch their inspirational story with the new film out this weekend, The Clark Sisters, First Ladies of Gospel. Our Jen Tobias Strusky spoke to one of the stars in the film, Shalea Fraser. Hallelujah. We don't do easy in this house. Praise in the morning. We do excellent. You know, the Clark sisters basically are the soundtrack to my childhood. So I grew up listening to a lot of gospel music, actually, especially from Detroit, commissioned and uh, Vanessa Bill Armstrong. And so uh, the Clark sisters were, were in that group. Well, they were in heavy rotation in, in my household. And so Shalea Fraser plays Dorinda Clark Cole one of five sisters with extraordinary voices, also known as the Clark Sisters, the first ladies of gospel. Our album is number 20 on the chart! Oh my God! We gonna be famous! You want them to be the Jackson Five? They better than the Jackson Five. The director, Christine Swanson, definitely wanted um, the actors to be singers. Um, that was so important to her and so, when I, you know, got the role, it was almost like I, it was like going back into my childhood and just singing all those old songs that I knew. And Shalea definitely has the credentials. She was mentored by Stevie Wonder and Quincy Jones. So I'd say her music skills are perfect for this role. One, two, three, and... Hey. No, what you feel, what you sing. Let me hear that. He's here. But this isn't just a role for her. The Clark sisters are her role models. And this film, a tribute. Oh my goodness, well this, this movie is such a, a beautiful, almost a love letter to the Clark sisters and their journey and just showing everything they've gone through. I'm, I'm playing Dorinda and um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's a story about six women growing up in Detroit uh, with a powerful mother who was a visionary and, and they, became, they became, as you said, the best-selling gospel group and the first one to get a number one uh, hit on the Billboard charts with You Brought the Sunshine. We had to ask, what is it like to play someone that you've admired for years? You know, I definitely felt some pressure because, you know, especially when the person is still with us, <laughs> you know, so I definitely wanted her to feel like this was a true portrayal of her. And I didn't want her to say, oh, I didn't do it like that or <laughs> anything like that. But um, but I was honored too. I was I was so deeply honored, and and I was able to spend some time with her. And actually, actually, just recently, I was on her show, the Dorinda show, and um, and she told me she said, you know, there was no one else who could play this part for uh, uh, you know of me, and that just made my heart just feel so good. So I, I'm so honored that she's seen it, and she's happy with what she's seen. So much musical magic, but is there one moment that sticks out the most when it comes to filming this tribute film? I think for me, the the moment that sticks out the most is when we first got to Toronto and before we even stepped foot on a set, um, we were in the studio and we were recreating all the songs and Donald Lawrence, um, who has studied them, I call, I lovingly call him the, the gentle genius. And he really helped us really uh, fine tune that Clark sister sound to where, you know, we put a video out of our, our uh, rehearsal and everybody thought it was the real Clark sisters. They couldn't believe that the actors were actually sounding so close to them. So that was just a magical time for me. You know, we were all so excited. We just met each other. Um, and spending that time in the studio was really special. We got nominated for a Grammy. You can catch the inspirational true story on Lifetime this Sunday at 7 p.m. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. What a fantastic story of no these sisters. Kidding. And what an incredible compliment to get, you know, when the person you're playing in the movie says, I, I couldn't, couldn't see yeah. anybody else playing my part. And that, that, that's, that's fantastic. And, and they were mentored by Quincy Jones and Stevie Wonder. Very cool. And they're from Detroit, so. Oh, hey, I knew it. That I was says for that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that one in there. Hey, still ahead, we've talked about a lot about where you can find beer around town to drink. So what can you cook with it? Find out a recipe you can make with beer. 
And next, don't let the kids miss out on their sports practices. There is a way to go to basketball practice online and we're gonna show you where to go. Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, the cancellation of sports has been on a lot of people's minds, especially the parents of all those young athletes. And the kids miss going to their practices and games, but there is a way to practice basketball virtually to keep the skills sharp and the body moving. Our photographer, Ted Obringer, shows us how. I hear you're doing something interesting to conduct practices with your players. What have you been doing? Yes, ma'am. At first, we were just giving out workouts. Uh, but then one of my parents, Billy Robinson, was like, we should get them on Zoom and try to get everybody together. So we did a trial run with just our sixth grade girls, and it went perfectly. So we said, all right, let's try with the whole organization. So we went with the whole entire organization uh, using the Zoom app. So you mentioned a little bit about how it's been going, that it's been going fairly well. What's been the feedback from parents, from kids? Uh, the feedback is awesome. Of course, you have little things like turn the mic down. You can hear a whole bunch of people talking. But for the first time, it was pretty good. But, you know, for me, looking at all the videos and seeing what's going on, I saw the girls smiling, having fun. I saw parents out there with us. And it was a great time. Let's talk a little bit about your organization, Lady Hoops. Well, re we reestablished ourselves in 2016. I was a, uh, I'm a 24 year Air Force veteran, so I, I established it way back in 2008. But uh, I left and came back, so we started back in 2016. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization. We have about 115 kids in the organization. Uh, right now, this is, is very important just to keep our kids involved and stuff like that. So the, 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 the organization is, is, is pretty much going pretty well. We started with one team, which is our 2023 ninth grade team that blossomed into 11 teams now. Wow, so growing and growing. And first of all, thank you so much for your service. Do you have any advice for other coaches, no matter what the sport? Uh, all I say is just get out in front of it. Don't wait till... You know, other people start doing, just get out there and work out with them. I'm doing push-ups. I see parents doing push-ups. You know, incorporate your parents into it as well. That's what we did. We have a parent coaches challenge going on right now where I challenge those parents and the coaches to get out there and work out with the kids. So that's why I just suggest. Well, and you need to kind of lead by example, right? If you're able to. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so if folks wanted to find out more about you or your Lady Hoops organization, how can they go about doing that? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have uh, we're on Twitter, SA uh, Lady Hoops, and we're also on uh, Instagram, SA Lady Hoops as well. And then we have a King and Lady Hoops page on Facebook as well. All right, Coach T, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, it's just a great way to keep oh, the kids yeah. engaged and social while they can't physically go to practice. Well, yeah, it's a great way to make sure they keep in touch with each other, stay on top of their skills, and keep that, you know, that camaraderie, right. that team spirit going together. Yes. So, fantastic. Still ahead, Easter is right around the corner, so are you looking for a way to keep the holiday spirits up? We're going over a few Easter DIY ideas you can do right there at home. And next, a lot of people are looking for new snacks to try, so make this beer mustard recipe. It's easy to make at home with only a couple of ingredients involved. Live. Now we've been talking a lot about where to find beer around town, but let's talk about what you can do with it besides just Ooh. drink it. Besides Ooh. just Ooh. drink it. Ooh. Whoop. <laughs> Spilled on there a little Don't bit. Spill. Anyway, hey, there are some great recipes you can make with beer, and our producer Nicole Maddox decided to try a beer mustard recipe from home. Booking producer for SA Live. Today we're going to talk about how to make a beer mustard. 
I know a lot of you are at home snacking right now, so why not try this new snack idea for National Beer Day? It's four ingredients, it's very easy. All you need is some yellow mustard, cinnamon, dark brown sugar, and the most important ingredient, a stout beer. Really, that's where the flavor comes from, I think. Let's get started. Take a quarter cup of the stout beer, pour it into a saucepan, let it simmer until it boils about halfway down. And now we wait. Now that the beer is about half of what I poured into the saucepan in the beginning, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of brown sugar in and mix it all up until it is. mixture in with the mustard and just a little tiny pinch of cinnamon. Alright, now that we have the sauce, let's talk about what really matters. What goes in it, the snack itself. So I decided to go with soft pretzels because those go with beer mustard so perfectly. I literally just got these from H-E-B. So let's go ahead and see how they turn out. They come with five already made. All you have to do is pop it right in the oven and they give you butter to go on them. Butter, that's perfect for a snack. Easy to do and delicious. My father. We're gonna see how he likes it. All right, Dad, do you want the salted or the unsalted pretzel? Salted, definitely. Salted, for sure. Well, I already put that on your side, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Cheers. Cheers. Dad approved. Best snack scene since football's been canceled. I love the drama with the salting it. Too. Right? Yes, yeah, such <laughs> flair. It's always good to learn a simple recipe like that with only a few ingredients involved. And that can go with a ton of different foods. Pigs in a blanket, you can put it on a sandwich. Nicole and I were just talking back there before the show, and oh, wouldn't that taste great on right. just a, a bratwurst, too? Right. You use it so much. Mm. All right, well, speaking of food, we asked a few local breweries to give their best food and beer pairing recommendation in honor of, in honor of National Beer Day. Yes, indeed. Ranger Creek Brewing and Distillery said that their Imperial Coffee Ale pairs really well with, get this, breakfast cheese, biscuits and gravy, and oh. churro waffles. Oh. oh, that sounds so good. Right? Ranger Creek Brewing and Distillery is offering online and curbside ordering. They are also handing out free hand sanitizer bottles daily at the distillery. You can find any of their beers at HEB, Total Wine, and more around town. They're also selling their whiskeys online and curbside. You can find them at 4834 Whirlwind Drive. Free Tail Brewing suggested the classic beer and pizza pairing. Oh, yes, they're sold out IPA pair as well with a pepperoni pizza or any of your favorite pizza toppings. Yes, a pizza and beer combo is a classic, and why mess with that? Indeed. Hey, Freetail Brewing is offering a combo of a medium one-topping pizza and a six-pack of beer for $16. Okay, and they're offering curbside and to-go ordering for all food and drink, and they have an online tip jar where all the proceeds are going to go to help their employees who've been affected by all the shutdowns. Now to order, just call 210-625-6000 or go to their website, freetailbrewing.com. Well, Back Unturned Brewing also likes the classic pizza and beer combination, but they highly recommend their extra spicy buffalo chicken pizza with a lock and dam IPA. 
Back Unturned Brewing has a full pizza kitchen up and running, and they are offering pickup and delivery. You can order online at backunturned.com. You can also donate to their online tip jar to support their staff as they are, of course, dealing with all these changes. Long Tab Brewery suggests their Black Rye IPA with a roast beef Reuben panini on black Russian rye bread. Ooh, yes. Oh, I'm delicious. Dying here. Long Tab has rebuilt their website to ensure the easiest online ordering process that they can, and they're still offering offering their full menu, giving back to U.S. Army's Green Berets, and that's an organization close to their hearts since the very beginning of Long Tab. It's great to see that these local breweries are, of course, doing so well during these times. Make sure to go support any of your favorite local breweries. If you want any other information, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cheers to all of them. Hey, still ahead, switching gears here, April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month, and we are talking to the child advocates in order to take some time to sit back and think about what this month really means. And next, get in the Easter spirit. There's a lot you can do around your house to celebrate the upcoming holiday. We're revisiting an Easter segment we did last year with Design Improvised. Stay with us. Say live Easter is hopping up on us, and we have you covered with excellent Easter crafts for the kids. Haley Jumbalo of Design Improvise is here to share more. Just, it's so colorful, and we we're talking about this time of year. You know, all the, the, the spring, vibrant, everything's in blue. Yeah, not only yes. Easter, but also the Fiesta colors. Oh, absolutely. Mainly Easter. So, ready? <laughs> Careful, oh, Jen. Oh, God. Here we go again. I need it's to okay. watch out for it's him. Okay. It's not real. Yeah, we did. Trick I knew better than to bring real eggs on set with Mike earlier. Smart. <laughs> but, right. So, yeah, I've got lots of fun kids' crafts that so you have plenty of time to do between now and Easter. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with this Easter egg project because I'm always looking for fun ways to decorate eggs beyond the traditional dyeing. And this mm -hmm. one is going to be a kid favorite because it uses spray paint or splatter paint. I love it. And that. what I have here is a set of paints from Kid Made Modern. You You're can a find brave them online. Mom. You're asking for trouble kids <laughs> yes. spray paint. So. <laughs> so, you can make any um, kind of spray paint yourself using just an acrylic craft paint that's diluted a little bit with water and put in a spray bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just squirt the eggs. I, the ones that I have already done are hard-boiled oh, wow. eggs, and then what you guys are using are just some Ooh. craft eggs. So you could do real or, or craft eggs, and they work equally well. All you have to do is just let them dry, and then you can kind of turn them over to the other side and, okay. and do the bottom. Or roll them around and try and how and, easy try and is Yeah, I mean, this quick, easy, colorful. It's a lot of fun. I know. It is. <laughs> And you mentioned, so even if you had fabric paint and you can just dilute them, right? That's what these are, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is fabric paint from Kid May Modern, but any, I think any water-based paint would be um, would work. So you so, just add a little bit of water. Yep, and shake it up and shake that, it up. that works. And yeah. about how long was that going to take to dry? A couple hours at okay. least, yeah. So but they're so pretty. Be able to I, I love how they dry and they're just Yeah, they're so really like, intense. The color stays nice. Very pretty. So then while those are drying, yeah. you have to make release your basket Then you need to make a basket for them. So these are some simple baskets that kids can make with basic um, lunch bags, little brown paper bags. Cut it right along okay. where the kind of the crease is at the bottom. Here. And then when you open it up, it turns out to be just that size. And I've got lots of different versions here. They're all decorated with one of these kid-made modern oh. craft kits. They oh come with all sorts of colorful Jen pipe cleaners. Jen is salivating over that box. Afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go wild with those. But then I, um, yep, you can even kind of fringe the top or Ooh. use like a decorative edge with scissors there or basic. Go, so once I keep them flat when I decorate them, okay. you can add, you know, pom poms, whatever you like. Let's leave it folded that. in half yes. and fringe, and it works out perfectly. And you love your pom poms, don't you? I, you gotta <laughs> have pom poms every holiday of the year. There's gotta be some pom poms incorporated. So and you said perfect Target, freezer. right? You can find. This? Yep, the Kidney mm -hmm. Modern Craft um, supplies are at Target as well as online. And the handle is just a basic um, fuzzy stick pipe cleaner that's. I actually just poked through the sides there. Oh, okay. I see how you did that. Yeah. So you just poke, mm -hmm. it right just poke through and just kind of bend it upward okay. and it'll hold. So okay. yeah, the fringe. And that, could was, be that was so simple when it's still folded up to do the fringe like that. Yeah, it's so yeah. easy. And you know, you can put these on the kids' table at Easter for a little treat basket, or they could give one to a friend bunny. or someone Maybe out they for the Easter bunny. Out for him. Yeah. 
Take I know. I'm going to give you a pom pom. There <laughs> you go. You. There you go. Easy. <laughs> I have Super one pom-pom. cute. <laughs> Those are adorable. Easy to make. Yeah. And so inexpensive, too. Absolutely. And who doesn't love pipe cleaners? They're just I mean, so fun. I, I, so I can, can agree more. And I particularly love this project, which is the, the Easter bunnies that I have made into a garland here. And then I've got some giant versions because you don't need anything, any other supplies other than the pipe cleaners themselves. It's just twisting them into circles and turning them into an Easter bunny. So I'm going to show you how to make this. So you start with one and you bend it into a, a circle. And then for the body, you just make it a little bit smaller and twist. Or, I'm sorry, this would be for like the head. Okay. And then you twist it onto the, the body. Mm -hmm. I love, ju you just yeah, need a twist. twist. That's oh, you it. just got to twist. I got a four-year-old and, and I'm going <laughs> burn his fingers with it. Yeah. And then the ears, this is a pipe cleaner cut in half. I'll let you do one. Okay. And you just bend them and twist. Mm -hmm. And if you want to put the little pom pom, no, on that there, does include nose. glue. Okay. I, that's, yep, I just added that with a little hot glue at the end. An adult can do that if a little kid is. So yeah, so it's starting to form. Look how easy that is. That you can make a whole so bunch easy. of them. And you've got the giant size pipe cleaners too. Now, where do you yes. find those? These are also from Kid Made Modern. Um, uh, you can get them online on their website. Okay. You know, they're, they're called fuzzy, fuzzy sticks. But this is really great fun. to keep the kids busy even during Easter. Maybe have a kid craft table. Yes. While the kids can, I'm sorry, I'm going to add my fuzzy little, uh, little, <laughs> little Want a little pom pom here? here. You go. And then you made it into a garland down there, which is so fun cute. Fun way to decorate. Yes, I love that. And people can find all these ideas on your blog. Yes, they can. Uh, designimprovised.com. Okay. And look at that. In, in less than about 30 seconds, you made those little things. Those are fantastic. And Good job, Jen. hang them on the doorknob or something like that or on the kitchen. Oh, yes. Room. Oh, oh I okay. like that, Mike. Stanley, thank you very You're much. Welcome. Hey, next on the show, how you can help children at home in a bad situation. We're hearing from child advocates of San Antonio, and they need volunteers. Keep it here on SA Live. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Now that we have stay-at-home policies and schools are closed, immediate impacts are being felt at Child Advocates San Antonio. And joining me today to tell us more is Marina Gonzalez, President and CEO of Child Advocates San Antonio. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, thank you for having me. How has this COVID-19 pandemic impacted these children? Well, unfortunately, as the rest of the world is going through this pandemic, our children are also uh, suffering as well. We're seeing immediate impacts in the sense that some of the abuse reporting has decreased. And that's because a lot of the mandatory reporters are our teachers and our healthcare providers. So when the children are isolated at home, they don't have that frequent contact with those adults that could spot the abuse and report it to our authorities. Um, so they are at home and it's happening behind closed doors. So as this health crisis continues, what do you expect to happen to these kids? Well, for our kids that are currently in care in our foster care system, we're seeing extended court dates and that's understandable as we're all um, you know, commuting in uh, virtually these days. And what that means is they're gonna be in care longer. It's gonna delay their ability to be adopted or be reunified with their parents. So that means um, a longer period in their life that's disrupted, a lack of normalcy um, and potential contributions to the trauma that they've already experienced on their mental health. How can the community help your group and help the children you serve? So we need your help to report the child abuse. You can help be our eyes and ears as well. Um, there's a 1-800 number that you can call, the child abuse hotline that's statewide. And you can also um, give us a shout out or get on our website at www.casa-satx.org to learn more information. But um, more importantly, we need some uh, more volunteers to help us. We have virtual training right now. So if you have time on your hands, you want to give back, or you've always thought about maybe becoming an advocate, now's the time to do it. So if folks want to volunteer, as, as you mentioned, how, how can they go about doing that? Absolutely. So you can get on our Facebook page or our website. There's an easy application to do that we will process then internally. There is an information session on April 8th for those of you that want to um, plug into that. Go to our website and check it out. That kind of answers the frequently asked questions of what it's like to become a child advocate uh, volunteer. Uh, but you can also give us a call. Our number is still up and running. It will go to um, one of our staff members that's ready to take your call and answer your questions. And what you do is you go through training and then we will get you on a case virtually at this point to connect with kids until we can go back to our, our regular face-to-face -face advocacy. What's one of the frequently asked questions that, that you get? 
One of the questions is how much time does it take to become a volunteer? What's the dedication? And we do always stress that it's so important to be, part of our mission is to be that consistent and positive adult in the lives of children whose lives have been disrupted um, during their uh, removal from the homes that they know. So it takes about 33 hours of classroom training that we provide everything you need to know. You don't have to have any sort of specific background to join us. You just have to be 21 and up and go through application process. Great information about becoming a volunteer. Thank you so much, Marina Gonzalez, President and CEO of Child Advocates San Antonio. If you see something that concerns you with the children in your lives, call the Child Abuse Hotline at 1-800-252-5400. Child Advocate San Antonio is also looking for more volunteers and donations so they can continue to help abused and neglected children. Their website is casa-satx.org. Marina, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Tomorrow on SA Live, your next DIY project might be your own hair. We have tips from a local hairdresser that might just save your luscious locks. We'll see how that turns out. My boys cut my hair. And an afternoon of fun delivered right to your door. How you can get cupcake kits that the whole family will love. That and more tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, what's your favorite spot in your home to enjoy a cold one or a cocktail? That was at home in DJ, is DJ in front yard with a movie projector. Hey, oh, I like cool. that setup. Yes, Julia, from Stella. My yard, especially when the sun goes down and the breeze is just right. Yes, all right, this one is from Tino. <laughs> and he's in the backyard. <laughs> See, people have been getting really funny and creative online. <laughs> yes, I notice how most of them were outside to enjoy yes. before we get into the throes of summer. So, yes. And again, it is National Beer Day. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nothing like it. Cheers. Cheers mm -hmm. to you. Uh, tomorrow, hey, good food, cupcake kits delivered right to your home, and the whole family is going to love it. And it's a fun thing to do with the family, too, like playing board games, something like that. Yes, and your next DIY project might be your own hair. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Mm. Oh, we've got tips from a local hairdresser that could save us all. <laughs> that was an interesting day on Saturday. One was trying to cut my hair, 